Introduction to jaundice. Bile is continuously made by hepatocytes, and whilst half drains into the duodenum via the common bile duct to be excreted in the urine and faeces, the other half travels through to the gallbladder where it is stored. Bilirubin is the main bile pigment and is formed as a waste product from the breakdown of old red blood cells. This bilirubin is unconjugated and lipid soluble, but bilirubin can only be excreted if it is water soluble. This conversion from lipid to water soluble occurs in two steps. First of all, the unconjugated bilirubin binds to albumin, which carries it to the liver. Here, it is conjugated by an enzyme called glucuronyl transferase. Anything that interferes with enzyme efficacy will therefore impair the liver's ability to conjugate bilirubin. Elevated bilirubin levels can be caused by increased production, decreased conjugation, decreased secretion by the liver, or a blockage of the bile ducts. On liver function tests, Unconjugated bilirubin is represented as indirect and conjugated bilirubin is represented as direct. Jaundice is due to an accumulation of bilirubin in the bloodstream which leads to deposition in the skin, sclera and mucous membranes. The normal range of bilirubin in the blood is 0 to 21 micromoles per litre. However, levels are only clinically evident at over 51 micromoles per litre. Jaundice can be classified according to which part of the physiological mechanism the pathology is affecting. If the pathology is occurring before the liver, it is prehepatic or hemolytic jaundice. If the pathology is located within the liver, it is hepatic or hepatocellular jaundice. If the pathology is located after bilirubin is conjugated in the liver, it is posthepatic or cholestatic jaundice. Prehepatic jaundice is the inability of the liver to conjugate bilirubin as fast as the body is producing unconjugated bilirubin. The causes of prehepatic jaundice fall into two categories, those which increase hemolysis and those which decrease bilirubin metabolism. Hepatocellular jaundice. Hepatocellular jaundice occurs due to impaired bilirubin transport across the hepatocyte at any point between the uptake of unconjugated bilirubin into the cell and the transport of conjugated bilirubin into the biliary canaliculi. In hepatocellular disease, interference in the three major steps of bilirubin metabolism, which are uptake, conjugation and excretion, usually occur. Excretion is the rate limiting step and is usually impaired to the greatest extent. As a result, conjugated bilirubin predominates in the serum. Posthepatic jaundice. Posthepatic jaundice is caused by an interruption to the drainage of bile containing conjugated bilirubin in the biliary system. The rate of bilirubin formation and conjugation is normal but conjugated bilirubin can't pass from blood into the intestines due to the obstruction. Therefore, the accumulated bilirubin in the blood is conjugated bilirubin. Another clinically relevant way to classify jaundice is painful and painless, but this will not be discussed in this video.